yeah I just what's going on is everything okay yeah everything is, is fine come uh, on baby I thought I heard banter between you and chief it sounded like you were arguing is everything okay talk to me everything is fine it's it's nothing okay It's just work. Work is becoming too demanding. And it's becoming hectic. Baby, please. You have to do this for us. Okay? You know how I was deported with nothing. We need this job. We need this. Huh? I know, but... <sighs> Look, honey, it's not as easy as you think. I know, right, I understand. But you have to try. Look, I'm willing to help. I'll support. I know that Chief is a good man, and I know that he will turn us out. I'll do anything I can to make it work. I will, I will run errands, I, I, I will help with chores around the house. I'll do whatever it takes. Please, we just have to be in his good books so we can take advantage of this opportunity here. so much Alex thanks man thank you uh, I'll see you around eh come on let's go babe are you okay what's going on why is your face like this babe I I'm not okay with this arrangement Come on, baby, we, we already had this conversation. You know the things have not been so great for me since I got deported and had to come back into the country empty-handed. This seems like a good sign to me. Finally, we have a roof over our heads. We can be together. Chief is a good man for allowing this. But and there's I no bots, okay? No bots. Look, we are lucky, baby. Most men of Chief's status don't even care about their staff. But here we are, with him, willing to help us at this time of our need. All we owe him is our gratitude, if you ask me. Look, while we're here, I'm willing to do everything I can to help out. I will run errands. I'll do chores around the house. I'll do whatever task is necessary for me to contribute. Tony, it's okay. It's all right. Okay? It's fine. Let's go. In. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. You good? <laughs> Come on. Give it a hand. Let's go inside. Almost 
可以。That reminds me. Chief gave me some money today at the office. He gave me 50,000 naira for lunch. Are you serious? 50,000 naira. 50k just for lunch? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, that's so generous. Mm -hmm. You see, I've been telling you. I've been telling you that Chief is such a good man. Mm. He's a good sense to us. I just pray that God continues to... Why is he calling me by this time? It's late. Babe, just pick up the call. Pick up the call Why? and find it's out what... Late. It might be something urgent. Just pick it up. Find out what he wants. I'm just calling you back. Oh, hello, Chief. Alright, sir. I'll bring it now. What does he want? He wants me to bring a particular file to his room. Thank you. You see? I told you for him to call you at this time, it must be something urgent. It's just late. Oh. He's a businessman. He has some accounts that he wants to settle. Yeah. I'm so Sit down. You <clears throat> see, listen. Well, why don't you just lie with me tonight? He's not going to hear about it. Nobody will tell him. Chief. Yeah, see. No. I will do no such thing. Alright? I will not cheat on my husband. I will not do that. And be ready to leave my home by dawn. Chief, please. Please, you can't do this to me. You can't do this to us. You know we have no other place to go to. Look, please, Chief. The more reason I want you to scratch my back, even as I've scratched yours. Please, please. Life is all about give and take. Hmm? Please, this is something we can just please, do. Can for us. Please, ah, that's exactly what I'm trying to do. I can't do so you try that thing too. Chief, 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 no, 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 Chief, Chief, I said, Chief, stop it.
Et dans ma main. Regarde ce qu'il dit, il 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 faut garder juste comme il y en a, si il juste comme il y en a. Il fait ça qu'il y a. Dans ma robe, il dit, juste à l'âme, il dit, juste à l'âme, il dit, juste à l'âme. Hey, calm down, you know, no one's trying to take a job from you, ok? Yeah, I'm just trying to contribute, trying to help out, ok? I got this. And I'm going to just help you, just don't have to help you, just don't have to help you. It's ok, I said I got this, you're not going to lose your job, ok? I got this, I got your back. Ok, be good man. Don't worry, just go back to what... Thank you. It's all right. It's all right. Go back to what you were doing, okay? It's fine. Ah, Chief. Good day. Good day. Yeah, I was just trying to help clean the car, but I did. Um, I guess it belongs to you. I'll give it to you. Thank you, Chief. Have a good day, sir. Let's get food on with you. The guy suffer for dining at the make I bring out to the hot. Uh, the dining is fine. Okay, we can go on now. Right. Five man. Thank you, Amaka. <laughs> not having anything to do with Chief. Chief haven't even seen my panties before. I cannot risk cheating on my husband. Okay? I mean, I don't know where you get all your assumptions from. Assumptions indeed. Chief practically does everything for me. He provided a roof over your head. He pays your bills without hesitation. Provides all your wants, and you tell me you aren't shagging him. So how then did he finally provide accommodation for you and your husband? When you told me emphatically that he gave you a condition for that. Mm. Mm. Now I see where the problem is coming from. But let me tell you this. I have nothing to do with Chief. Just believe it at your own peril. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning, ladies. How are you? Are you? Good. Um, um, you see, I gave your rapper to your husband. What do I do? How do I explain to Chiki that my rapper was with Chief? Oh my God. This man will stop at nothing but to tear down my marriage. Please God help me. Help me.
Baby, you're back. Mm -hmm. Hi. You're welcome. Thank you. Are, are you okay? You look drained. Are you ill? Ah, uh, I'm okay. I'm f uh, I'll be fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah, I just work stress and. Uh -huh. uh, okay. I should go make dinner. Hmm? Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, babe. Sorry, I almost forgot. It seems like you washed your clothes, your wrapper, and uh, left it on the line because Chief uh, gave it to give to you. See why I've been telling you that Chief is such a nice and humble man. Mm. How many rich people like him do you know that will take even their own clothes off the line, let alone helping someone else? You see? Yeah, that's really nice. He prays him so much. Well, it's mine. I praise him a lot, not too much. <laughs> well, I mean, look at where we are. We wouldn't have this if it wasn't for his generosity. Yeah. Right? I can see that again. Yes. We can meet dinner. Okay, okay. all right, baby. Okay. Uh, do you want to put this away? Sorry. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <sighs> so how was, how was work today? Hope nothing happened. Sonny, yeah. make sure all males are attended to. And um, also do not forget to move. Please, sir. Good day, Sonny. Did you say Sonny? Oh, yes, my dear, I did. Um, Sonny, that will be off for now. You, you may be. Okay, so thank you. Yes. You're looking sweet. Thank you, sir. Always looking sexy. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yes. Um, yeah. For your lunch. Sir? Yeah. Just for your lunch. Wow. Thank you so much, sir. Good bless you. You're welcome for anything for you. Anything. It's all good for me. Oh, come on. That's just a bit. God bless you, sir. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I'll get back to you. It's all right, my dear. Sweet girl. I saw and heard everything. What did you see? Oh, come off it. What is it with the pretense? You are dating chief. I beg your pardon. Sonia, where did you come up with this news? <coughs> Do I look like a kid to you? It is obvious and very clear. As soon as you enter that office, chief automatically Lost interest. He even gave you this fat envelope just for lunch. <laughs> Look, Sonia. I don't have time for your assumptions and speculations. Alright? Just let me be and get back to work. You and I know you're a big boy. 
Huh? How long did you get to play this game? Dude, you and I know what I had to suffer and endure to become who I am today. So, I'm just playing it carefully. You understand? As soon as my consignments and goods arrive and I know that everything is secured, I'm going to come out clean. But for now, please just keep taking care of my investments, okay? Well, bro, what more can I do? It's alright, bro, but I just hope you're doing the right thing, JK. Trust me. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. And it's going perfectly well so far. Hmm? Well, it's all good. Meanwhile, um, I want to buy that house that Chief lives in. You don't say, bro. Yes. Wow. Bro, you just want to buy the whole place. <laughs> What's this all? I want to. Really? Yeah. Well, it's not a bad idea, though. That Chief needs to be taught a lesson, you know. Well, in the spirit of this good news, there is a new spot I just discovered down the road. They have nice battles and it is, you know. Let's just get there. Yeah, let's go take one to board. Let's go check it out. Okay, you <laughs> Yeah, I could use some unwinding right now. Whoa. So how are things going over at the office? Oh, well, nothing much, bro. We're just mm. doing what we need to do. Everything yeah. going well, right? Eh? Everything is going well. It's well. For your wife gets back. <laughs> If I came to beg you, please leave me alone. I'm a married woman and I cannot disrespect my husband. Please. Lucy. Lucy, you make it seem what I ask of you is so difficult and strange. I mean, this is something you can do without blinking an eye. All right. Name your price for fidelity. Chief. You see, my dear, I am not asking you, I'm not asking you to divorce your husband. The only thing I want to do is to have a test of your flesh. And that will be over my dead body. Oh, come on. Chief, I cannot sleep with you. I can't. There's so many women out there. So why me? Why me, Chief? Do you even regard the institution of marriage? I cannot disrespect my husband. Then your supposed husband should be man enough to provide roof over your head. A man that cannot provide for his family is worse than an infidel. Chief. Chief. Chief, please, I beg you. Please, you need to take it easy on me. If you love me like you could, then you will stay away from me. Please, I cannot jeopardize the sanctity of my marriage. I cannot. Please, if not for the trust my husband has in me, and the love and respect he has towards you, you would have believed we did something last night when you gave him my rapper. But I believe that something is going on. Chief, please. Lucy, Lucy, see, you have to decide on this. I have made up my mind on this matter and that's fine.
Yes, Sonia, you said you wanted to see me. You stop. Is this why you're here? Sonia, is this why you are here in my office? Now listen, we may have had a fling in the past, but that doesn't stop you from being official with me. What nonsense. Where is this? Oh, this is really about Lucy, a married woman. I said, where is she? She's meeting with the board of trustees of Dinko or you as proposed. No, oh, that's true. Okay. Yeah, let's I forget. If she comes back, tell her to give me feedback on our last discussions, okay? That will be all for now. Any other thing? Why is Lucy so damn lucky? She'll be the one to represent the company in technical matters. She'll also be the only one Chief desires. She's finally made him not to take a second look at me. What nonsense is this? Sonia! Sonia! I'll be leaving on time. I have an appointment with my doctor. It's okay. Yes, sir. Now who you define? I'm here to see Chicken. Okay. You mean my second ogre? We have to get appointment. Well, not really. Just tell him that um, Sonia from Chief's office is here to see him. Eh. Yeah. Yes. Hey, Bell. Who's there? Oga? She said her name is Sonia. Say she's from Big Oga office. Uh, let her in. Okay, Oga. Hi. Hi. You must be chicken. Yes, I am. I'm Sonia. I work in the same office with your wife, and she's my friend. Okay, what brings you here? Well, it might interest you to know that your wife is cheating on you with Chief. But as someone who is concerned with family values, I can't just sit back and encourage infidelity.
Bắt đầu. Where is my husband? What's this? Why are you refusing me? Uh oh, -uh. babe, I'm not. I'm not refusing you. I'm just, I'm just tired. I had a lot to do at the office. With who? You had a lot to do with who? What do you mean with who? I don't understand. What are you trying to insinuate? What do you think I'm trying to insinuate? Huh? Or you're going to also deny until you get you get caught red-handed and disgraced. What? Chicken! Chicken, what has come over you? Your infidelity is what has come over me. You've had your feel, right? You've had your feel at the office with Chief, haven't you? You've had your fill at the office with Chief. Why won't you turn me down? Chiki, are you accusing me of cheating on you with Chief? You can answer yourself that. Chiki! See what I'm always telling you. It's not here to be found, but I'm always here for you. When I told you that that church rat has nothing to offer you, you, you would not listen to me. Look at what it's making you go through now. And you don't deserve it. It's okay. Alex, it is crystal clear. My wife is cheating on me. I'm telling you. But why wouldn't she? She thinks I have nothing. This is the reason I didn't want to take her seriously when we connected on the blue app. But then, I fell helplessly in love. And look at where we are now. But, but wait a minute, bro. This is a very serious allegation. Have you ever caught her in the act or in any way or form? Do I have to? Aren't the signs clear enough to see? I would advise you just take it easy, okay? Just get yourself together. We will find a way around this. What? Miss, can I see you in private? Right now? Yes, now. Okay, I'm behind you. Please just give me a minute. Yes. What is it? What is he doing here? Is he not tired of coming here to beg for food? Really? See, you need to stop this madness, right? That's my friend we're talking about here. Just let him be, okay? 
and won't. Really? You should go and get a job. It's one enough. Rubbish. Mandy. Mandy. I do not envy you at all. Why would you allow yourself to go through this? I don't understand what you're saying. What are you still doing with that church rat husband of yours? He cannot cater for you and you still see nothing wrong with it at all. Sonia! Well, it's true things are not so good now. But I'm optimistic that everything will be alright. And I will not condone you insulting my husband in my presence. Madam, I'm sorry. Let me go back to my work. You had better. have staked my life that my wife would never cheat on me until I saw her hugging chief. Women cannot be trusted. I understand, bro. But don't get yourself too worked up, okay? Everything will be fine. Yeah, hello. With your Well, um, I am not oblivious of this your call at this time. It's just that um Right now, there is a massive project at hand, and um, I need all the capital I can get to execute them. Sir, the property in question will be sold, and we will allow you, the occupant, to stay on annual rent. No longer this. The management will write you on how to pay some. Hmm. It's all right. Um, I have had all you have said. It's okay. Uh, I'll see to it. All right. All right. Thank you.
But wait, wait. You are getting me confused. What nonsense are you spewing out? Baby, please calm down. You see, this house belongs to him. Not just this house. The cars, everything. They are all his. He just gave it to, to handle them for a period of time just to watch over them for him. Oh my goodness. Alice, so you've been lying and deceiving me all this while. No, man. Don't, don't, don't sit there. You see, I've always loved you. Especially, I wanted to tell you the truth. The way you treat Chiki and talk to him this way. Oh, please, shut up. Shut up. Why didn't you tell me all this while? Why can't you just open up and tell me the truth? You're such a liar and a disappointment to me. It's, it's a lot of pain. I don't even know the nonsense you are saying because I can't even digest it. I can't! You know what? I'm just going. Where are you going, please? You're asking me where I'm going. I'm going up to pack my bags. I'm leaving. Why? You want to leave me? I, I want to stay here with the boy, boy. Mommy, all I got now. Please, now, don't leave me now. What do you need to do? Don't go. You don't have me. I don't want you. Baby! Mommy! Mommy, please come. Please come. Please, 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 Well, Barrister, as I was telling you on the phone earlier, the estate management called um, earlier today and uh, was um, requesting that I release the estate to a new buyer. And then um, you and I know that I invested so much money right now in a very big project that I do not have enough capital to keep up. But somehow, we agreed that. Uh, I should be paying uh, annually to the new buyer now as per rentage since I'm unable to buy the property at this time. I don't know. Congratulations to you such a time. I will be doing. Do you want me to go ahead with the level proceedings? No, right away. Right away. Okay. It's a good one, Chief. Yeah, it's a good one. Um, that reminds me, my wife will be coming back very soon to join. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and I believe in you. In spite of all the tough times. You see, you see, I, I really want to inform you about the company's deficits. Hmm. The estate manager has called to inform me that uh, someone has uh, bought the estate and I asked folks I'll be paying them annually, not, not even uh, this anymore. And the time frame is really short. This is really not good. Chief, it's, it's okay. All right. Every business has its own challenges. I'm sure you're going to get through this one. Okay? And we will definitely bounce back. It's just a trying time for us. Everything will be okay, alright? It's a bit of It's not a me. Chief, you will bounce back. It's not like it. it's just that it's getting too hard on me. I know, I know, but I don't want you to be too hard on yourself. Everything will be fine. It's alright. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm welcome. Thank you very much. I appreciate this. I feel my word. Around you, baby, you have beautified me with your love, and you light in my world with your love. 
in spite of all, I will love you till eternity. In spite of all, I will love you till infinity. From the streets. I went job hunting. Job hunting? Job hunting, you say? Huh? Maybe what kind of job were you looking for that would keep you till such an ungodly hour? Please. What kind of job? Baby, give me a break. You think I'm happy sitting in this house all day doing nothing? Contributing nothing? And you think I'm happy too? Look, I am not saying you shouldn't search for a job. But you need to be careful out there. You need to take it easy. I can't be losing you at the dead of the night. Coupled with all the crises we are going through now. What crisis? What are you talking about? This house has been sold. What? How? What happened? Chief suffered a major deficit. Therefore, he couldn't renew the lease of this house. So now, this house is on rent under the new owners. Wow. <sighs> wow, that's serious. That's really bad. It is. It is. Business hasn't been good. How come I didn't see the handwriting on the wall? How could I be so daft not to know that Chike is the real deal and not that impostor posing with Chike's wealth? And to think of it, I treated him like a leper. I must look for him and apologize. Who knows? He might look my way. Emergency. So what's the problem? Please, hurry to my quarters at once. Anywhere. I forbid you from leaving this room. 
Whatever the problem is can be sorted out tomorrow morning. My love, please. Please, you just have to let me go. Eh? I have to go. Would you have another job for me elsewhere? This is the only job I have. This is where we feed from. This is where I get money for our sustenance. Please. Are you really going to disobey me? My love, please. Please. Why are you doing this? You need to stop this mind game you're playing, please. I just have to go. I need to go and know why he's calling me, please. Lucy, I said I forbid you from leaving this room. Come back here, Lucy. Lucy! I just want to let you know that the consignment we are expecting from UK is quite a huge one. Okay. And it involves, um, it involves uh, a whole lot of cash with somehow additional loans. Mm -hmm. I need your best at this time. Okay? Chief, I have been very diligent with my work and I promise to always do my best to ensure that we come out of this. Yes, you are trying, uh, but you, you, you've not been taking care of me. Chief, I've been doing my best. I'm bridging protocols that I shouldn't do. Look, I should be with my husband at this time. But here I am. No, oh, come on, spare me that. That's your chart. Of what good is he? A liability? See, I still wonder what you see in that boy that I cannot give you. Chief, I just need to give him more time and support, he will definitely bounce back. Lucy, even if you give him a decade, he will not. He will not. Take a monkey to London. A monkey is still a monkey. At the party of a boy. See, Lucy, all I'm asking is just give me a chance. Give me a chance to turn your life around. Name whatever you want me to do for you. I will do it. I've always been there for you. And I will always be there for you. Okay? Just give me a little time. And your life will never remain the same again. Please. It's not that difficult for you to decide. Just let, let, me, let me change your life. Let me nurture your life. Hmm? Please. Just stop it. Stop. Just stop. <laughs>
You have chosen your path. Congratulations. Chica, you shouldn't be saying this to me. You shouldn't be saying this to me. No, just look at me. What else do you want me to do? Have I not tried for us? I provide everything that we need. I provide all our needs. I deserve a thank you. Thank you, not rant. I am still your husband, Lucy. I gave you a clear instruction and you disobeyed me. You disregarded me. All I do, I do it for the interest of both of us. Really? Yes. That includes going to Chief's room by 12 a.m. and shagging him? with the look. Are you okay? I'm confused. I'm tired. Chief is not giving me any breathing space. He follows me everywhere. And to think that my husband is suspecting that, that I have a thing with him. I know maybe he's doing all this because, because he's accommodating us. Sonia, I am stuck in the middle of all this. I am caught in the middle. I don't even know what to do anymore. What are you doing with a man who cannot cater for your basic needs? And you see him as a husband. He is worse than infidel. He's not fit to be called a husband. Sonia, stop it! Look, I will not have you insult my husband in such manner. For the fact that he came back and brought empty handed doesn't mean he's a no-do-well. Don't even get me started. Don't get me wrong, Lucy. You have a man like Chief who is willing to take care of you. And you are truly at his face. Just a green light from Chief and I will be all his. I don't even know who's feeding my husband with all these lies. All these malicious lies against me. I don't know who I offended. But all I know is that there is nothing hidden under the sun. Girl, you are beautiful. And you truly deserve the best. Why don't you give Chief a chance? And watch yourself glow. Look at that boy husband of yours. He has nothing to offer. Sonia, stop it! Do you think it's that easy? Huh? I have been standing by GK all this while. Even when he was abroad. And now it is simply not who he said it is. You have to move on. Girl, read my lips. You have to move on with your life. It's not that easy. It's not. I 
<laughs> Don't worry, we have nothing to worry about. I got you. Okay? Alright, alright. Take care of yourself. Bye. <laughs> wow. This is finally the golden opportunity I have been waiting for. I can't be here. And Lucy will be going on special special programs with, with Chief, the money bag. And still keep that handsome man as a husband. And I'm sitting here. And she's even calling me, telling me to cover, cover up for her as what one. Am I an umbrella? <laughs> hey. Who's the person? Um, uh -huh. That lady we come last time. Who they work for a guy office, the chief office. Uh -huh. She did forget. Let's I make a lamish in time, sir. Yes. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Are they come. Sonia. Hi, Chike. You again? What are you doing here? What if my wife finds you here? Your wife indeed. As I speak to you now, your wife is in a five-star hotel for looking and having a good moment with Chief. My wife is supposed to be at work. Well, I guess you know I and your wife work in the same place. And I wouldn't be here to say otherwise. But if you doubt me, you can come with me so we can go to the office. You will see for yourself. What's going on? Chica, I really don't know why I'm so concerned about you. I mean, a handsome man like you does not deserve to go through this. There is no worse crime, there is no crime worse than rubbing infidelity on a man's face just because he's not financially stable. I, I, I need to go to Chief's office. Let me call my friend Alex to come and take us there. Hello, Alex? Assist your friend. Getting him a place to stay or a job shouldn't be a problem. Considering this beautiful mansion you own to yourself, you can as well connect him to some of your business partners. <sighs> Please excuse me, I need to use the convenience. Mm -hmm. um. <laughs> This is a white girl for you, bro. She's a wife material. You're right. Wow. Unfortunately, I'm already married. Yeah, bro. Boss, see, I'm not really comfortable with you in that apartment. How can you, of all people, allow that chief lord over in your own house? It's not cool, man. Uh, <sighs> Guys, I'll be leaving now. Uh, oh, really? Oh. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, my friend and I can drop you off. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay.
What is all this? What is all this? So I can't have peace in my own house? No. I need to get rid of that church rat. That gold digger. Where are you coming from? And before you think of lying to me, just know that I've been to your office and you were not there. Babe, babe just calm down, all right? Calm down. I went for a conference meeting with Chief. And look, he gave me 450,000 naira for a Oh, come on, please. Spare me that plant stone. It doesn't make any sense, okay? How long are you going to keep doing this? So just because I can't manage to land a job, you're going to keep rubbing this in my nose? Huh? Money is going to be the reason, the excuse you give me every single time why you keep disgracing yourself and sleeping around with Chief. How dare you, Chiki? How dare you? Why do you keep accusing me of infidelity? Why? You don't know what I got you in the hands of Chief. You don't know. God knows I am innocent of all these allegations. Innocent I am my innocent. You are sleeping around with Chief Lucy. How dare you, Chicky? <laughs> Lucy, go on, go on, hit me, go on and hit me, kill me, hit me, Chicky. Go on, hit me, hit me, kill me, kill me, Chicky. Do it. Every single time, you just keep bringing up this, this stupid excuses. Before I complain one or two, you tell me, Chief gave you money. Chief gave you money. Who cares about Chief's money? Oh. What? Your benefactor is calling you. Your sugar daddy is calling you. Why don't you want to pick the call? Why don't you want to talk to him? Is it because I'm here? Come on, pick up his call. Perhaps he didn't have enough of you already and he wants you in his bed again tonight. Yeah. Pick up his call. Huh? Okay, go. Exactly. Go. I saw the future with you Right from the day that you came my way Oh, and I believe in you In spite of all the tough time I built my world around you, baby Lucy, Lucy Lucy, what is wrong? What is wrong with you? I've been calling you Just leave me alone Leave me alone it's all your fault. I never wanted to go for that conference meeting. I didn't want to go without my husband's knowledge. You insisted. Now see the problem it has cost me. Just look at. Look, I love my husband very much and I don't want anything to come in between us. Not even my job. Just go away, just leave me alone. Look. I am throwing that nuisance away from this house. I am throwing him away. Besides, when he was abroad, you were at your best in the office. All of a sudden, he just came back with nothing and he's causing problem and disturbing everybody. What is his problem? Why are you being a nuisance? 
At least all you owe that woman is to be thankful. She fends for you, feeds you, provides clothes and everything for you. Even when you have nothing, absolutely nothing to bring to the table. Chief, I'm human. I'm human as well. I don't think there's anything wrong with it if I complain about my wife not giving me attention. Besides, if you have a problem with my unemployment, you can as well give me a job. No, will you shut up? Will you shut up? Chief, before my wife left this house, she told me she was going to work. Now, imagine my surprise when I got to that office and she wasn't there. A jobless man that you are. So you now stalk your wife. A woman that has nothing but love and support for you, even as a liability that you are. Do you want me to throw you out to the street where you belong tonight? Do you? Chief, it hasn't come to that. I'm sorry. I'm only concerned about my wife and her safety. That's all. Chike, if this nonsense repeats itself in this house, you leave me no option but to kick you out like a criminal. You have been warned. Chike, you have been warned. This friendship, if not for rainy days. Look at your friend. You are aware of everything he's going through. All the challenges he's going through. Yet you refuse to help him. Look at your beautiful house. The exotic cars. Your success. Yet you refuse to help your friend. I wonder why you're still friends with him when you can't help him. My dearest friend and brother, Chike, welcome back home. Thank you, my brother. So, so good to see you, back, bro. Thanks, man. Wow. <laughs> and thank you for coming to pick me up at the airport. Come on, it's nothing. It's nothing. That was really helpful. <laughs> thank you so much, Alex. Thank you. God bless you. You're welcome. <laughs> Bro, you see ACP now? Yes, so After all my sojourn abroad, you see how I ended up deported with nothing. Quite unfortunate. Quite unfortunate. But I want to believe that with all the experience I now have, having gone around, it shouldn't take me too long to bounce back here in Nigeria. Sure, sure. I just need to get a job. Mm -hmm. Or at least start a business. You know, I'll need your help with that. <laughs> but most importantly, what I really need right now yeah. is a place for me and my girl to put up. So I was wondering if you could give us a room in your house here for us to stay for a while. At least until I can get a job or start my business. <laughs> Chiki, my brother. You know we're more than friends now. That's mm -hmm. why I call you. We're brothers now. Yes, of course. You see, uh, I don't want to sound as if uh, I'm unwilling to be of help to you. You know, Chiki, <laughs> as a man grows, he tends to expand. Before you go back to Nigeria, I was already intending to get married and start mm -hmm. having kids of my own. Wow. Yes. As you can see, this house not be enough to cut in all of us. Uh, Alex. So I hope you understand. I, I know you've done enough for us already. But please, you really need to help us. We need a place to stay. We don't even mind staying at the boys' quarter. Yes. Boys' oh, quarter is fine. Come on. Come on. See, I just want you guys to understand me. You see that boys' quarter you're talking about? <laughs> it's still under construction, no? It's just one small cubicle I got out for my security guard and his family. 
It's not enough for us, bro. I just want you to understand this. Okay? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, my brother. You, you, are, you are a brother to me, like you said, rightfully. And uh, I know that if it's something you can do, you will do it with Of course. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. We'll, we'll find some other solution. Eh? Yes. Thank you. Thank you for everything you've done. My pleasure. I appreciate this. <laughs> my God. <brother. laughs> so good to have you back. Alex, my man. So good to have you back. It's good to be back. Yes, bro. <laughs> Don't forget, I'll need help with that job. Okay? Oh. You see about that uh, job, I will just see if I can pull some strength and see if I can get you something to do. Okay. Because I know you really need it. Yes, I do. Of course you do. Uh, but meanwhile, in this mood, I'm so happy to see you back home in good health. So at least we can celebrate. Yes. And drink to that. Of course. So I will go in and get us chill drinks. My man. TK, my man. My man. I missed you. All right. All <laughs> right. Let's go back now. All right, bro. Okay. All right. Living. Hey, don't be so upset. Okay, don't be upset with Alex. Look, Alex has done so much for me. We've been friends for very long, from almost our childhood. Do you know that Alex is the one that's sponsored my trip abroad? He has done so much for me. If I'm asking him for this favor and he can't do it, is not reason to have any issues with him and spoil our relationship. Okay? Look, honey. <clears throat> I'm not angry. I'm just concerned. Because I don't know how you would feel if I tell you this. Can you come stay with me at Chief's Mansion? I mean my boss. What? That's not a bad idea. Yeah, with everything I've heard of Chief, he's a good man. If you accept, I don't have a problem with that. As long as we're together. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. And who would believe that, that my husband's friend Alex has been the one responsible for tarnishing my image? He's been telling my husband that I have been cheating on him. And this same friend of his refused to help him when he got back to the country. That's the main reason you should live your life. Men will always be men, especially the broke ones. Yes, you're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah. I saw the picture with you right from the day. Okay, you're welcome to my home, brother. Thank you. Have a seat. Let me get you some. You have a really nice place here, Sonia. Thank you. You're always welcome here anytime, any day. Feel free to come here whenever you want to clear your head and relax. Thank you so much. This means a lot to me. 
This will save me a lot of embarrassment in Chief's house. Don't let anyone talk you down. You are a great man with potentials. And you are a good man. You deserve to be happy. Um, sorry, I'm not in the mood. With everything going on around me right now, I'm, I'm just very worried. My head is full. It's all right. I'm always here for you anytime. You know, I wish I had met you before I met Lucy while I was still abroad. I was aware of that, but Lucy wouldn't let me talk to you anytime she's on call with you. Or it's never too late. Is it? Good evening, Alex. Please, I wanted to find out if my husband is at your place. No, he's not. Have you tried calling him? Severally, I have. But his line is switched off. Do not panic. I will definitely, uh, I will definitely come back. Let me keep trying too. All right, all right. Thank you, thank you. Please, Lord. Don't let anything happen to my husband. Please protect him. Let him come back home safely. Please don't let him get into any trouble as a result of all that he has been through. Please, Lord, I ask that you save my marriage. Protect my husband. Let him come back home safely and sound. This I ask of you. In Jesus' name. Yeah. Take a with you. <sighs> right from the day Gosh, that you came my way. Oh, and I believe in you. In spite of all the tough time, I've built my world around you, baby. You have beautified me with your love And you lighten my world with your love It's wonderful I told you, I told you earlier that I'm not in the mood for this. Eh? Please, I'm going through a lot right now. This is not what I have in my mind, please. Please let me. I've always loved you even when you were in a girl. I know, I know, I know, but we're just getting to know each other now. Okay, at the right time, we'll do it. Not right now, please. My mind is full of so many worries. I can't get myself to do this. It's alright. I understand. Let's pray to God. I believe all this problem is going to be over. There is nothing you cannot do. Let's pray to God and put this your present situation into his hands. Okay? Let's pray. God has to pray. Yes. Come on. Come on. <coughs> In Jesus' name, Amen. Lord, I commit Chike, my husband, to be into your hands. Lord, bless, it, bless the work of his hands. 
God, bring him out of this situation that he is in now. Father, I pray that you come into his life. Make a way for him. Bless him. Give him a reason to smile again. Father, King of glory, as you do this for us, let your name be highly exalted in Jesus' name. Let's share the grace. Mandy, my baby. <laughs> come on, come to daddy. Oh, please. I'm here to see your boss, Chicken. Mandy, are you out of your mind? How dare you walk into this house and ask me of Chicken? <laughs> Why don't you understand? I am done with you, so I'm up for Upper League. Chicken, your boss. I'm not here for you. Please go get no chicken. Oh, come on! Wow. Mandy, do you know what you are? You are just a cheap slut. <laughs> and I thank God I realized in time the type of person that you are. Mm. You know what I want you to do for me right now? Stand up and get your filthy self out of this house. <laughs> Wonder Shanibai. Like. Which house? Is it the one you built? Or the one chicken built? Which of the house? My dear. You don't have the right to walk me out of this house. It's Chicken that has that right. I am not here to banter words with little boys like you. Mandy, I will not warn you again. Stand up and get out of this house. You have no business here. I'm going nowhere. Come and let me Chicken on your door. That's why I'm here. Like leave this house. <laughs> this is slow. Why are you in this house? Leave this here. Who did that like you? My boss, your wife called me last night. So worried. Seems to be passing out of home. I went to see Sonia at her place. One thing led to another, and I had to pass the night there because it was late. My boss! <laughs> that was a good one. Wow. Boss, if you ask me, see, I think that Sonia girl is a very nice one. Very nice girl. And I think it's high time that I get acquainted with her. She can make a very good wife. I'm still observing her for now. I don't want to be hasty in making a decision. So, fingers crossed. My boss, hey, no problem, boss. Let me get us some drinks now. Okay, sure. My boss. <laughs> oh, enjoy. Alex, my man. <laughs> my boss, my boss. You see what I you see what I always tell you. He has obviously chosen his path. I kept telling you that imp is not good for you, but you refuse to listen to me. Which sensible man will abandon his wife at night without coming home? No cause. No information. I mean why is she keep punishing you like this? Why? Who did I ever do to deserve this? Who did I ever do? Why is it punishing me like this? You, you don't deserve all this. You don't. <laughs> he now slips out. I don't know what I ever did to me. That's true to me. I don't know what I did to me. It's alright. I don't know. It's alright.
doesn't matter where it I love will last forever Baby remember the promises Now we have to each other Chicken, where have you been for two nights? You kept me really worried. Do you really expect me to give you an answer to that? Well, since you and Chief have decided to constantly treat me like a mongrel, like a liability because of my inability to get a job, this lazy man went out in search of a job Chiki, have I ever made you feel like a liability to me? I love, respect, regard and provide all your needs. The least you can do is to keep me in the know of your whereabouts. Look, I'm not comfortable with this late night. I can't risk losing you. I don't want you to risk your life searching for a job. It will come. It will definitely come. Please. Please, please, please. Just stop patronizing me, Lucy. Please, just let me be. You're hurting me. sent for me, Chief. Yes, I did. You see, Chike, um, there is something very crucial I want us to discuss. I'm all yes, Chief. But, Chike, I want you to, I want you to name your prize. Um, name, name my prize for what, sir? You see, I, I really want to make uh, Lucy my wife. So I will advise you let her be. Okay? <laughs> um, is, is this some kind of joke, sir? Listen, young man. I know you need this money to start up your life. Okay? Um, I can go ahead with or without you to make her my wife without your consent. But I'm doing this because I'm a gentleman. So I will advise you be wise in your decision making boy. Please. Think about it. Just name your price. Any amount. Chief. Yes, any amount. Just name it. Are you? Are you seriously asking me to leave my wife for you? Like, you want to buy my wife from me? Is that... Chiki, I'm saying just name the amount and I'll make it available. There are so many other women out there. Even if you want to travel back overseas to start up afresh, just name the man, name the money, name it. Chief, you're a wicked and callous man. <laughs> to, to suggest such, such a, a ridiculous thing. Chief, so... So because I'm poor, because you have money, you think you can just take my wife from me? Mm. Oh my goodness, Chief. I didn't expect this from you. Not in a thousand years. I'm so disappointed. What nonsense. What nonsense, Chike. Chike. Oh, you dare walk out on me. Chike, you walk out on me. The only reason I'm doing all this and taking this easy with you is because I, I really don't want to lose my loss. You 
have finally gotten your wish. You have finally gotten what you wanted. The frustration that you have been putting me through has finally borne fruit. You have gotten it. The game that you and Chief have been playing all this time. We have reached the end of it, haven't we? You are pretending like you don't know what I'm talking about. Your lover just offered to buy you from me. Yes! He said I should let you go. That he will settle me so that you can marry him. But I don't blame him. I don't blame him one bit. I blame you because you orchestrated this with him. No! Don't tell me that. Why is Chief doing this to me? Why? Look, I, I have no idea of what's going on. I have had enough of this humiliation. I have had enough of it. I have had enough of this humiliation. I saw the future with you right from the day that you came my way oh and i believe in you in spite of all the tough time I've built how could you put me off of snow like like some cheap commodity how could you disrespect my husband in such manner <laughs> oh your boyfriend you mean oh please chief stop it Chike's family knows me. And my family knows him too. We have better plans for ourselves. Oh, come on. What plans do you have with that jobless lover? Listen, first thing tomorrow morning, I'll take you to your people. I'll get there, pay your bride price, and let them refund any payments. Chief, never. Never. I can't do this, Chike. Not after everything I've put him through. I cannot. Besides, I don't double date. I wasn't raised in such a manner. If you'll excuse me, let me get the file you requested for. Lucy. Lucy, don't let this opportunity slip off your hands. Lucy, why are you doing this to yourself? I don't understand what you're saying. Sonia, you were eavesdropping. Yeah, out. What is wrong with you? If I knew you and Jim is absolutely out, by now I could not carry the level one to you. Sonia, you don't understand. I am responsible for everything GK is going through. I am the reason he was deported. My brother gave him a contraband and and it was seized. That was why he came back with nothing. Look, my only regret is that he started misbehaving. I believe he's seen someone. Do you have any idea who he's saying? I don't know. But I know Chiki very well. I have a strong feeling he's He's cheating on me. Oh, you're cheating too. You're saying Chief. Sonia, you and I know that I have nothing with Chief. Chief is my boss. He's my source of livelihood. So I do not want to get him angry so I don't lose my job and the money to cater for Chiki. Oh, please. Lucy, sleep with Chief and forget about the consequences with Chiki. He's a nobody. God forbid. You hear me? God forbid! Now you begin to sound like an enemy. <clears throat> um, young man, I made you a very juicy offer and uh, up to now you have not said anything about it. I am going to warn you for the last time. Accept this offer. Take this money and leave Lucy for me. This is the last time I warn you about it. <laughs> Chief, you are seriously asking me to leave my wife for you because I'm poor. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know him before? Yes. I'm sorry, sir. No, I don't know him. I was actually referring to you. Uh, I thought as much. Um, 
Mr. Chike, if you'll excuse me, let me discuss with you, please. Let me sit. Thank you, sir. It's just um, a boy I decided to help with accommodation. Oh, I see. Mm. Sir, the management have decided to re increase the price of this property. This letter is to that effect. You guys with increment. So, uh, are you guys the new buyer of the property now? Yes. Yes, sir. Can I speak to your boss? Well, sir, our boss is very, very busy. He handed everything to us. Let me have the letter. Sorry. So Chief called me earlier today and made a monetary offer for me to leave Lucy for him. That is very disrespectful of Chief. So he thinks everything is all about money. Can you blame him? He sees that I'm poor. I don't have a job, I don't have money, so he just thinks he can do anything he wants. Oh. Oh, please. Don't say that. There is a point in every man's life that he faces a lot of challenges. And I believe that you're going to make it. Just trust and hope in God. Tomorrow will be better. Tomorrow is unpredictable. Just believe in yourself. She will make it. I promise you. Thank you so much, Sonia. Thank you. Your words are very soothing and uplifting. When you talk to me, I feel encouraged. Thank you. That's okay. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Wise girl. <laughs> I can't wait. Can't wait for things to change, you know, for my circumstances to change. I start get a job, start making money, just leave this life behind. Poverty is a disease. Ah. Do you need any other conviction to know that you don't have a man? Huh? He had better not come back. Because whoever causes you pain, causes me pain as well. Chief, just, just let me carry my cross. I remember when my husband first came to this house. He was not acting this way. But because of your persistence in having me, Pushed him away. Look, now he has left you. Are you going to continually sit on the fence? Because I am losing my mind already. I have given you enough time to consider my proposals. I have. Chief, what are you saying? Well, I am sorry. I'm very sorry for sounding this way. It's just that I hate seeing you in this mood. Okay? Now listen. I am going to give you a check of 200,000 naira. Cash it tomorrow on your way to the office. Get whatever you want for yourself. Is that okay? Aren't you going to say something or at least do something to me? It's 
Chicken, where are you coming back from? Lucy, please just get out of my way, okay? Excuse me, let me go to the room in peace. All the nights that you have been spending in Chief's room, I have never questioned you. So please just leave my way right now. Everything I do, I do it for our own common goal and interest. Since we moved into this house, you have never dropped a cobble, a dime, nothing. Oh, shut up. Shut your mouth. Oh, so because, because I, I, I don't have money, that gives you the right, the effrontery, to cheat on me under the same roof? I am not cheating on you. You are lying. Hey, I have never. Can, what is this? Man? Look, what is all this? Look, young man, I think I have had enough of this young madness. I have. Now, if you know where you're coming from, just get back there. Go back there at once. Now. You should be ashamed of yourself, Chief, for sleeping with my wife. Me? Yes. Stop! Your wife? Are you mad? Me sleep with your wife? All right. This is time for you to leave my house. Are you leaving right away? Now! I saw the future with you Right from the day that you came my way Oh and I believe in you In spite of all this tough time I've built my world Around you baby You have beautified me With your love And you lighting my world with your love in spite of all, I will love you till eternity. In spite of all, I will love you till infinity. In spite of all, I will love you till eternity. In spite of all, I will love you till infinity. I'm getting married to Chief. It's my destiny. So be it. Lucy, what do you want here? I have been calling his life severally, and it's not connecting anymore. Where is he? Well, as you can see, Chike is not here. I don't know where he is. Really? So why is your number not also connecting? Did you block me? I don't understand. Lucy, what is the meaning of this nonsense? You're supposed to be a question and answer section of what? 
I have always known that you're cruel. But I never knew that you could be this insensitive. Your friend, my husband, is missing. He has been wallowing in abject poverty. And you did not care. Alex, you live in a big mansion. A house that is able to house more than five people. But yet you did not help us. If only you had helped. This temptation from Chief wouldn't have happened. But you refused to help us. You refused to help your friend. And this God will judge you. Prosperity will never forgive you. Look at you. Did I ask you to shamelessly go and sleep with Chief? Huh? I'm just so happy that Chiki, my friend, never paid your marital rights in full. You got served. Is that what he told you? Let God be the judge of that. I saw the future with you right from the day that you came my way oh and i believe in you chicken has left me do you know that chicken has a very rich friend who could have been a source of help to us but he refused to help us. He has been the one misleading Chiki. Girl, you should be celebrating. You are not at the apex in this establishment. You are not a madame. Really? Sonia, don't be ridiculous. There is no better joy than being with the one whom your heart beats for. My dear. You should create your own happiness. Besides, he hasn't completed your marital rights. Get married to Chief and swim in the ocean of wealth and splendor. And don't forget to me, don't forget to me your paradise. I am your number one fan. <laughs>
I need to heal first. Been through a lot. Why don't you let me be? Is it that you don't have conscience? It, it's okay. It's alright. I promise to take it easy. frame of mind for this. I've been through so much lately and you know this. Also, we're just getting to know each other. This is something we will do after we've known each other. This is not the right time for this. You need to stop it. Chike, please, please. We've known each other already. Besides, I'm waiting. Please, 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 just put yourself together. Okay? I haven't even met your family yet. And, and you're talking about ovulating? Come on. Look, we will have enough time to consummate our love when we do the right thing. Not right now, okay? Just sleep. Sleep, sleep. Let's sleep, okay? I saw the 50,000 naira you sent to me. What's that for? Use it for your upkeep. The visa is stocked with food. You can have anything you want. Enjoy yourself, okay? Thank you. Thank you very much. Don't tie this up the hook. <laughs> you do. <laughs> hey, easy baby. You don't want to be late for work. It's alright. Take care of yourself, okay? Okay. Bye. 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 Very big thing here. That get our hall out. Hmm. Well, I don't care about Lucy. She and I, it's in the past now. So she can cause all the scenes she wants. It doesn't change anything. I have finally found everything that I have ever wanted in a woman in Sonia. Really? Can you believe that that girl gives me money for upkeep every morning before she leaves the house? Don't say. That means that she's not interested in a man's money. Yes. She cooks very well, cleans the house very well, wow. even when she comes back from work very tired. That means she's homely. She prays with me very often. Which means she's spiritually inclined. Yes. What else? The only problem I have with her now is her eagerness to get under the sheets with me. But that's not a big deal. You know me, I'm the kind of person that when I have my eyes set on a goal, 
I don't easily get distracted. Not even by her beauty. Wow, boss, boss, <laughs> wait, wait. So you want, you want to tell me now that you have not touched that girl since that time? Ha, boss. <laughs> don't be sporty, you know. <laughs> Your type is very rare in this world. No, only you can come, boss. <laughs> Why the rush? If we're going to end up together, we will have all the time in the world to enjoy ourselves wherever and however. So why the rush? Wow, my boss. <laughs> Chai! My boss, this is a very good news. Everything you have, you have been looking for in a woman, you just found it. Yes. Finally getting there. And this calls for a celebration, boss. <laughs> now you my chairman. Now you didn't pay me salary. Boss, I have everything you want. The nah, fridge is fully stocked. Don't just worry. what do you want? Well, let me let me flex you now, don't boss. Don't worry, you're my guy. Don't worry. Don't stress yourself. Boss, don't talk like that now. See, now you didn't pay my money. Now you get fridge, now you get drink. Just measure what you want. I'll get it for you, boss. I need to give you something, boss. Let's celebrate now. It's a good news. Okay. I'll have whiskey. Wow, my boss. <laughs> whiskey for the big boss. <laughs> Let me get it now, boss. Just Alex, my me. man. You boss! You're yeah, doing well. I Thank you. Me. Thank you so much. with a married man. Why are you bent on ruining my life? You sent the husband of my youth. And now you went back to bring your wife. Lucy, but before my wife came into the picture, you never allowed me into you. All you do is lost after your poverty-stricken boyfriend. I will not have you insult my man in my presence. You have the nerves to call him your man in my presence. And you're upset and married. Chief, why are you doing this? Why? You know what you're doing is very wrong. And I will not sleep with you. I will not. Then get your things and leave my room at once. Pick your things and leave my room. And pray I don't get more upset. Because if I do, I will have you kicked out completely and sacked. You know what? I don't care anymore. You are a very callous man. I mean, how could you go to a full-fledged man, cajoling him to balance him and take his wife? I don't even blame my husband for leaving me. But you know what? This time, I am done for good. I am leaving. Get out this and get out. No, get out of here. I'm leaving. Get out. Get out this and leave her. What's wrong? What is it? I saw Why am I even killing myself over you? What's And I believe in you In spite of it? all this tough time I've built what? my world Around you baby You have beautified me With your love and your Wakey love wakey Sleepy sleepy Wake up, I made you breakfast. Oh, oh my baby. <laughs> this is so sweet. Mm -hmm. ah. oh. 
How do you have this? Don't worry, I'm fine. Oh, okay. Mm. 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 Girl, what's that sound? Is there something there? I think there's something. Hey, what's this? Let me see. Please marry me. Are you serious? Yes. Yes, I'll marry you. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Oh. oh, baby, thank you so much. I'm happy. I'm happy too. Oh my God, I need to go to the office and show everyone that I'm engaged. Oh, really? Everybody needs to know that I'm engaged. <laughs> Thank you so much, baby. Oh. Don't you want to eat your breakfast? No. No, 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 no. <laughs> So what is the problem? Why is your face like this? I'm tired. I'm tired of everything. At this point, I'm done. Girlfriend, you're engaged? Thank you. Oh, I am so happy for you. Thank you. God has finally smiled at you. <laughs> and as for me, I'm just facing my feet. Um, hey, help me give this to you. It's my resignation letter. I'm leaving. And I'm also leaving this house. Christy, are you sure about this? Yes. My mind is made up. <sighs> so tell me, on a lighter note, who is this lucky man that has made the best decision of his life? <laughs> Tell me, spill. Surprise, surprise. No, no, <laughs> Sonia, you're not going to tell me that. You need to tell me who he is. Who is this lucky man? Is it Jack or Wilson? Or is it Smart? <laughs> no. 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 It's a surprise. <laughs> okay. If you say so. Yes. Um, Sonia, I I'm going to ask you for something. Okay. You know now that um Resigning. I will need a place to stay. So I was hoping if I could, you know, put up with you for a while. At least until I get my own place. <laughs> my mother is around and she's very sick. Your mom is around. So your mom is around and you didn't even tell me. <laughs> you know, she's like my mom. Okay? I need to come and see her. My mom doesn't want to see anyone. Your mom doesn't want to see anyone. Your mother is my mother, Sonia. Listen, you want to understand. It is a decision of my family that she sees no one. That's, that's strange. But it's okay. That means I have to look for a place where I can stay. Because this resignation is really needed for my sanity to be intact. You can keep the letter. 
while you look for other plans, pretending that you're still working with him. That's the point. I don't know how to pretend. Because once I reject something, I reject it outrightly. Well, you have no choice. You just have to play along. So what do I do? I mean, I'm not even dressed for work. You know what? Um, you can go home. So when Chief comes, I will inform him that you went for an official assignment with one of our clients. Right? Okay. But please make sure you give him the letter. Direct. And congratulations once again. Thank you. Bye. Oh, that was so close. in my husband's house. Um, I... I live here. Yeah. Do you want in my house? You don't have a house. You don't see salary. Are you stupid? Are you mad? Now go in there. Pack your bag, pack your things and leave my husband's house immediately. Right there! What is going on here? Honey, your back. Eh! Hey. Eh! Hey. Don't honey me. Don't honey me! So your, your workers now live in our house, right? Oh, come hey, on. Honey, she's just my staff. I have nothing to do with her. <laughs> really? You have nothing to do with her? Hey? So this is why you don't want me to come back. So that you have all your time to fornicate with your workers, right? Hey, Chief. What are you saying? What are you saying? What are you doing? You're still here. Honey, calm down. Get You're back. just coming back. Why would you say that? Pack your things. So this. You're very stupid. Chill. Don't. Don't. Just stay clear. Don't annoy me now. Woman, this is no time for this argument. Get your back yes, inside. I have some man. Come here. Hold on. Go. Go there. Yes, go inside that place. Pack at this and let her leave immediately. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Honey, why are you doing this? This is all you do. Why are you doing this? So this is all you do. That is why you don't want me to come back. Chief, really? Yes, she. Just please allow me. Allow me. Yes, she. I saw the picture with you. Right from the day that you came away. Oh, and I believe in you. In spite of all the stuff. I've built my world around you, baby. You have beautified me with your love. And you light my world with your love. In spite of all, I will love you till eternity. It doesn't matter what I love will last forever Baby we Thank <laughs> you.
Wait, what are you doing now? I'm the boss. What is going on? What are you talking about? It's okay, my darling. Let's go. The boss. <laughs> my boss. <laughs> what boss? I guess my man. Is this where you've secured for us? Yes, boss. Alright. Sit down, baby. Okay. My ah. boss. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Alex. Yeah. Wow. So, <laughs> Alex, this is actually the second time I'm coming to your bar. It's so nice. Well, <laughs> thank you so much. But I need to correct something. This beautiful bar here is not mine. It's my boss, Chico. Yes. The mansion I live in, the cars, and so many other properties that I manage for him. He owns them all. Baby, how can you do this to me? I loved you from my heart, not because of money or anything. I know. I know. I've come to realize that you truly love me. And that's why I chose you. I love you too. I love you more, baby. Other guys would have jumped on me right from the first night. But you proved yourself different. You truly deserve a medal. And should be celebrated. Mm. Thanks for loving me. <laughs> My boy. Sonia! Lucy! What the hell are you doing here? Before my dead body will not let this happen. Sonia, you cannot lie to me. Tear down my marriage and still want to have my man. Well, what's, what's she talking about? Chiki, it's fine if you don't want me back. But you see this devil? I will not let you get married to her. Because she is a chameleon. A devil. Are you happy now? I guess you're happy. You had the opportunity to help Chiki and I. I begged you, did everything, yet you refused. And I got into temptation with Chief. And you, I never knew you were a green snake. You lied to me, poisoned my mind, just so you would take advantage of my man, right? Sonia, I should have known better. I should have known better. You bloody cheat. You've been sleeping with Chief. How dare you? How dare you accuse me of, of sleeping with Chief? <laughs> so now you of all people know that I never slept with Chief. You were busy engineering me to go for Chief. So that you could take advantage of my man. Are you a baby? <laughs> Did I force you? Did I force you to go to Chief? Did you also advise her to, to leave her husband? <laughs> she had her choice to make. Why oh, would Lucy have all the beautiful things in life? She's got the best position in the office. She's got the best caring man in the world. Don't I deserve to be happy? See this slop, will you shut back your dirty mouth? Is anything wrong with you? I've been listening to you all. Imagine this one. Who are you trying to deceive? Shut up! Who are you trying to deceive? So after I told you that Chike here is the real deal, that he owns everything, Alice is from to you pretended to love him. When you and I know that it's this money you're looking for. Oh my. Chike! Hey, what do you have with Chike? He's my friend. Oh! So now you need to chop our national cake. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't understand. Why don't you understand? Action. Luzo, I don't know what you're saying. Oh, who thanks? She can win no get money. I'm just looking for a casual friend who I'll go use whole body. Moreover, he's handsome. And he's just one of my yeah, yeah, friend husband. I just I just want to pepper her. <laughs> I can see you are still in the blind. You never see clear. That guy is richer than your sugar daddy. Uh -huh. He's the boss. When I found out that he is the main thing, I dumped my guy, Alice. See that Alice? My just ordinary manager in the 
<laughs> and there's no way I can be dating a manager when I know I will have access to the lead. I just came here to see if you can, you know, look all these things and look my way. But that stupid boy, not going to look my side. My dear, you mean I'm hey, not joking. Say that that's come out from here. No one make person see me. I beg. Make this be our little secret, you know now. <laughs> eh? No, well, let me see if I still try whether I'm going to look my side. You know, <laughs> chicken. I don't have that, but he wants to go back inside. He's inside. Hey! Where would I go now? <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm so disappointed in you, Sonia. So you're just a gold digger. All you're interested in is my money? You knew all this time? You know, so that's why you saved the man's number on your phone as mom five. And when I caught you, you pretended that it was your uncle that had called and said, that's how you, 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 you behave in your family. Huh? Give me my ring. Let me have my ring. You don't deserve to live amongst good people. People like you should not be amongst good people. Baby, you know, I was even loving you even before she told me. Oh, shut up! Loving who? <laughs> See this Don't slut who? My father who called gay, babe. Eh? I shall want like you. Let me hear you say do hope for streets. Hey, God help. See? On that ticket, the only innocent person here is this lady here. This pretty damn self, she's the only innocent person. This one, this jealous bitch, <laughs> she said she wanted to pepper her and take her man. That is why she did all she did. She never had anything to do with you. Don't see my like so. You go me for giving you the information. I'm Where's Chief now? He's at home. His wife came, sent me away. If you hadn't been sent away, would you have come looking for me? Of course. I came looking for you. I came here severally searching for you. I called your line tirelessly. I wasn't even helping. I begged Alex. <laughs> that was why I came here. I came to this bar after I resigned from Chip's company. Because I had nowhere else to go. I had nowhere else to go. And since it's his bar, I decided to come here because you once brought me here when we were still together. This bar doesn't belong to Alex. It's my bar. As a matter of fact, I own everything. This bar, the cars Alex drives, the mansions, and many other businesses. I made a lot of money while I was abroad. And when I was coming back, I just wanted to be sure that you would love me for me and not because of money. That's why I pretended not to own anything. Oh my goodness. Wait. And I was blaming Alex for being cruel. this chicken all the trauma I had to go through in the hands of chief you are unbelievable I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry please I really, I, I actually thought you were sleeping with Chief. I swear, I, I believed it. I believed you were sleeping with him. Why? I made a mistake, okay? Now I realize that you are the virtuous one. 
and he's made me fall for you all over again. Please forgive me. Please, 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 I beg you, forgive me. Please. Please. Please, I've made a huge mistake. Please, please. I want, I want you back, please. Please, baby. This, this should be yours. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Lucy, Lucy, Lucy. Lucy. my father. I have told you I have found it nothing to do with you. What are you doing here? We'll find out soon. Good day, Chief. Good day, young man. We won't be accepting money from you anymore for the renewal of this house. The owner, the chief executive officer, Larry G. Properties Limited, in the person of Mr. Hilary Chike Eze. The wife. Mrs. Lucy Hilary Eze, she is the owner of this property now. Are you saying Mr. Chike here is your boss? Mm -hmm. It's a small world chief, isn't it? Um, Mr. Chike, please, don't let us give the devil a chance here. Hey, can we at least go inside and talk like men? Please. <laughs> chief. What if I'm not interested in going inside and talking with you like men? Mm -hmm. 
As a matter of fact, what if I'm not even interested in letting you step foot inside my wife's property ever again? Chief, I thought you were a good man. We came to you for help. And what did you do? You labeled me a criminal. And you tried to steal my wife from me because you thought I was a poor man. Chief, is that true? Uh, only please. Huh? Don't take it to her, please. Madam. It's the devil's <laughs> work. Mr. Chike. Madam, you have a beast of a man for a husband. I came into this country after I had been abroad for many years. And I decided to pretend to be a poor person for my own personal reasons. My wife came to Chief to ask for assistance in accommodating us. Chief accepted fine and good. And we thought that Chief had good intentions. Little did we know that Chief actually intended to steal my wife from me. Oh. If she had not been the virtuous woman that she is, she would have fallen for his antiques. Well, woman, oh. you're not also a good person. You threw me out of this house without hearing from me. That is not a good sign of a responsible person. Oh, please, why are you doing I'm sorry, Bikubara. Please, I'm very sorry. Please. In your next life, learn to treat people right. Chief. This is the court order to eject you out from this property. Hey. Is that it? It hasn't gotten to this. Hey. Hello? It's time to come in and execute. Make you know very soon. Um, we just come to come tell you say, a former organ no give us salary. Um, most don't finish, most don't expire. So I don't know if you pursue us, no know where I will go from here. I beg, no verse. That beg, no pursue us. If you pursue us, my uncle will just kill us. Bye. Hey, Bell. Okay. Amaka. Okay. You both be rest assured. Your job is secured. Ah. Oga, thank you. Thank you, Oga. Thank you. Ah. I will pay you everything, Chief Old, and I will give you a 20% salary increase. Oga, thank you. Oga, thank, 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 ah. thank you. That's okay. God bless you, Oga. That's okay. Thank you. Please, get up. Ah. Get up. Ah. It's all right. Thank you. Thank you, Madam. Yeah. Thank you. Ah. Go to your duty. God bless you. I got you. Ah, thank you. I be correct. Ah, hi. Thank you.
my love. Yes, baby. This is the same house where you were disgraced and humiliated. <laughs> it is yours now. I have transferred the ownership to you in your family name. You're the best. I love you. with all my heart and all my being because bro you know you know that I've been through so much yeah sure bro sure, sure. 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 Chiki, you have been through a lot and you have come out of a lot too <laughs> this is a bright <laughs> you you're right Abel I have come back mm -hmm. from a lot and God has blessed me with the most amazing wife in the world honey you're the best gift from God. You're an amazing man with a heart of gold. Just look around. All your stars are on the same dining with us. It just shows how amazing you are. <laughs> Thank you, my love. Mm, have a love. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. This is your house. Now here I go stay. Marry. Bring all my children because he are too sweet. I know he come up for you. I told her, oh, see your boy is so funny. Come on, come on, you know. No, Abel, <laughs> you're going to get bigger. You're going to buy your own house. You're going to have your own money and take care of your own family. Okay? Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What you get? my type. Thank you. For the money you give out, I'll be better person. I'll take you to the best. Yeah? You are like family to me. Okay? As a matter of fact, we all have one big family. Okay? No one knows tomorrow. You are here with me today, working as my staff. I don't know what tomorrow will bring for you. Look at me. I left this country with one bullet in back and I traveled the world and I have made so much money. Look at where I am today. Like I said, no one knows tomorrow. Okay? Yeah. 